おはようございます。おおはようございます。We use こんばんは during night time and、uh, we use こんにちは during day time so my guess is あなたは何歳ですか何歳ですかあ、な、何歳ですかこんにちは、ライスノーです。So let's continue to play Learn Japanese to Survive Hiragana Battle、えー、Learn Japanese to Survive Hiragana Battle を続けていきましょう。So last time we, we did a couple of side quests and we learned how to greet people and also we learned how to ask someone's age. Okay, so now we need to talk to Misaki. Continuing on. Explore the world map and travel to our next destination. Head north out of town to view the world map. We want to visit Sunnyvale Farm next, but we we've already been there.、Hmm? Or maybe we didn't explore everything? Open this door. Oh, okay. Oh, what? There is a ship. Fune, Fune g a r Wow, that's a large ship. Phew. I bet we could travel just about anywhere with that. Anywhere.、Mm. This gives me an idea. Uh oh. What are you thinking? I wonder if we could visit a place I like to call Japan. Oh! Oh, so we can go to Japan? So, Nihon, Nihon ni keru? Oh, could we? This ship would definitely be enough to take us there. However, we still have work to do here. We can't leave the country with so many Hiragana warriors roaming free. That's a good point. So, what do we do? Let's return to Snow Reef. Village for today. I'll come up with more lessons and continue to teach you. Ah, okay. One day, we'll be ready to sail this ship to Japan. When we get there, I can show you so many wonderful things. Ah, so and now、ah, we are back in the village. Okay, and now we can start a new lesson, I think. Okay, continue with new lessons. Welcome back. Let's carry on with the next lesson. Hmm, okay. It's time to learn our next set of hiragana characters. There is five new characters to learn in this lesson. I will go through each character individually and teach you how to write it and pronounce it. At the end of this chapter, we'll have a quiz, so do your best, okay. Hmm. The characters we are learning in this lesson are Ta, Chi, Tsu, Te, and To. Uh, these characters follow our pattern of a, i, u, e, and o, but there is two exceptions here.、Hmm. The first exception is chi, which starts with c instead of t and adds a soft h sound. The second exception is tsu,、uh, which adds an s sound and is pronounced with less emphasis on the t.、Hmm. You'll hear good examples of how to voice these syllables as we continue. Here's our first new character. Ta. Ta. This is ta or ta. It's a consonant followed by a. Okay, this. This. This word, I always mispronounce this. I always pronounce this vowel, but I think a proper pronunciation is like vowel or something. But maybe it still doesn't sound correct, but.、Uh, mm. And makes up a single syllable. You pronounce this as ta. ta. One, two, three, four. Hmm.、Uh, 
some tips. Uh, tilt the top horizontal line properly. The shape on the right is almost like a small core. So use that as a reference. Okay. Chi. Next character. Chi. This is Chi or Chi. Hmm. Pronounce this as Chi. Chi. One, two. One, two. This character is made in just two strokes. Tilt the horizontal line properly. Try not to confuse it with Sa, uh, which looks similar but is backwards. Mm. Tsu. Tsu. This is Tsu or Tsu. Mm. You pronounce this as Tsu. The T sound is very soft, like in tsunami. T. One stroke. Mm. One. It's written in one stroke. Start with a fairly straight line at the top, then curve accordingly. Te. Te. This is te or te. You pronounce this as te. Te. Wow. Mm. Uh, write this in one stroke. Start with a straight but tilted line at the top, then curve it in as you go down. Te. To. This is to or to. You pronounce this as to. To. Uh, one, two. Hmm. This character is written with two strokes. This character looks good as long as the second line curves properly. That's it. We've finished this set of hiragana, tachitsute to, tachitsute to. These five characters, ta, chi, tsu, te, and to, are all quite commonly used, so be sure to memorize them. Mm. Before we continue, would you like to save your progress of okay? Our friend the duck ten has returned. This guy let, lets us change the sound of hiragana. We can use Dakten on our newly learned ta series. Adding Dakten to the characters we learned in this lesson transforms the sound from T to D. I'll go through our five new characters and show you what they become when you add Dakten. Da. This is Da or Da. Mm, you pronounce this as Da. Write Ta as normal, then add your Dakten marks in the position shown in the image above. Uh, G. This is G or G. You pronounce this as G. Uh, this character is an exception in this set, as it's not a D syllable, and yes, it's the same sound as G. Hmm, true, 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 yeah. The character G is not used commonly like G. So when you need to write a word with a G sound, always use a C plus Dakten G, unless you specifically know to use G Chi plus Dakten for that word. Mm, true. Yeah, this uh, this G is less used compared to other G. This one. So she plus Dakten. So it depends on the words and so yeah, as this game says, the pronunciation is the same. But uh, sometimes we we use this G instead of this G. Mm, so it yeah, it depends on the 
context or words. Write chi as normal, then add your ducten marks in the position shown in the image above. Okay. The. The. This is the or the. You pronounce this as the. There is no D sound for this character, and yes, it's the same sound as Z uh, Su plus Dakten. The character Z is not used commonly like Z, so when you need to write, write a word with a Z sound, always use uh, Su plus Dakten, unless you specifically know to use Z plus Dakten for that word. Mm. De. De. This is de or de. You pronounce this as de. Write the te as normal. Then add your duct marks in the position shown in the image above. De. Mm, de. Do. Do. This is do or do. You pronounce this as do. Write to as normal. Then add your ducten marks in the position shown in the image above. Do. Mm. We've now finished this set. From this lesson, you've learned a total of 10 new hiragana. Da, ji, zu, de, do. Da, ji, zu, de, do. We are going to move straight on to a special lesson. Mm. The lesson will give you a few quick Pointers on correct Japanese pronunciation. Hmm. Would you like to save your progress? Okay. You obtained the study guide 4. Use this from the item menu to quickly revise this lesson. Okay. Uh, pronunciation. In this lesson, we will be covering pronunciation. As you've learned so far, each hiragana character has just one distinct pronunciation. This is great for us because it helps us to easily read words. There are a couple of little rules to keep in mind and these come into play when we see double vowels vowels, <laughs> and double consonants. Mm -hmm. We'll cover double vowels first. A double vowel or a long Vowel occurs whenever there are two hiragana vowels, so many, <laughs> so many vowels next to each other. Uh, o o o u a a a. I don't know what this means. Okay, these can be two of the same vowel, like o, or two different vowels, like a. When you see this, you pronounce it by drawing out the length of the sound. Ah, 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 okay, 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 ah, I think I understand. For example, for o, -o uh, okay, so yeah, you don't pronounce this as o, -o but uh, like a o, and then you don't pronounce like a e, e, e. But the A. Mm. So you would pronounce a long O sound. This is the same sound as O. O. Mm. For A, you would pronounce a long A sound. When written in low magi, you will sometimes see double vowels written like O or A. This represents the sound of the long vowel. There isn't much more to long vowels. Practice reading them when you come across them. Now we'll focus on double consonants. Since consonants in Japanese are made up of syllables such as ka for ka and ki for ki, you won't see two consonants directly next to each other, like CK or TT in English. Instead, double consonants are separated by uh, yeah, small 
you look at this and think, why the character for tsu look closely at the use of tsu in the text above? Does it look a bit smaller than usual? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This small tsu is used exclusively for representi representing double consonants. It can be hard to pick out from a regular sized tsu at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Mm. Okay. When you see the small tsu, you don't pronounce it as tsu. Instead, you treat it as a very brief pause before pronouncing the consonant. Mm, okay. Mm. Kippu. Kippu. Listen to the pronunciation for kippu. 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 Did you pick up the pause? This requires a bit of listening practice. For now, just remember that when you see the small tsu, you pause ever so slightly before pronouncing the next consonant. Hmm. Kippu. Eh, matte. Not a kitsupu. And not a matte. But a kippu and a matte. Hmm. Is there any good example? Uh, like a cup? If you, if you want to write cup in Japanese, then uh, you use ka and small tsu and pu. Mm. Then you pronounce it as kap, kap. And that's how you pronounce double consonants in Japanese. That wraps up this quick pronunciation lesson. You can revise this lesson by speaking to me back in town. Okay, so that's the end of the lesson. That wraps up this lesson. Great work! As usual, get ready for the quiz. Okay, question one. What is this character? Okay, so tsu or ta or chi. And this one is a uh, tsu. Correct, well done. Question two. What is this character? Do, te, da. So this is a uh, ta with duck ten, so it is pronounced as da. Correct, well done. Question 3. What is this character? Uh, chi, chi, to. And this one is uh, to. Correct, well done. Question 4. What is this character for the English sound de? Okay, so de is this one. Uh, this one is ji. This one is do. So this one is de. Correct. Well done. Question 5. What is the character for the English sound chi? Uh, chi is this one. Chi. And this is uh, ji. This is uh, zu. So chi is this one. Correct. Well done. Congratulations, you've completed the quiz. Let's take a break from our study for now. Head into town and relax. If you need to stock up on items or equipment, be sure to do so. When you've finished exploring the town, come find me and we'll continue our study. Hmm, okay. Okay, so we, we finished another lesson and we, we've learned uh, Tachitsuteto and uh, Dajizudedo. So, and uh, also we planned some uh, other stuff as well, like uh, how to use small tsu. Mm. Anyway, I think uh, this is a good stopping point, so I'm gonna finish this for now. So, I'm gonna finish this for now. So, I'm gonna finish this for now. So, I'm gonna finish this for now.